to all the LMMS user producers, do you ever try to explore on LMMS to see whether it got the cool features or not? I've been exploring and using it for 4 years and I found out some features you might not know and I bet some were blowing your mind. I'm Anthony and welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony's Tune. If you are the newcomer, hope you can consider to subscribe my YouTube channel and click the notification button too. Alright, let's get into it. This is the 7 features you might not know in LMMS. This is for those who are the window users because LMMS doesn't support VST in Linux and Mac. Maybe some of you didn't know that if you load the VSTs, you can put the note effects from the VST you use to the automation tracks. But where is the note? Let me show you. What you can see right now, I was using the vital VST in LMMS and I tried to click Ctrl plus mouse left click. Still, it didn't pop out the note. Where you can find the note is, go to the VST plugin. You can see there's a spanner at there, just click it, and there you go. This is where you can find the VST note for the automation tracks in LMMS. But I realized it's not all the VSTs have the note features in LMMS. So it all depends on the VSTs itself too. I realized there's a lot of the LMMS user doesn't know it has the search bar to find the presets and the samples. That is really shocking me. Because the time when I just used LMMS, I already knew it has the search features. And that's why my old videos will show you what was the presets and the samples I used. Because I thought everyone knew it. But still got a lot of the people ask me how to make the sound. But it already is the default presets and the samples in LMMS. If you are wondering where the search bar is, it is down the left corner of the software. I mean, no one knows is also not wrong because it is very hard to find out where is it. Do you have a troubles on putting the samples in the exact same beat? Especially for the samples that you recorded and loaded it to LMMS. Because if you move it, it will automatically help you change to the specific bar. Again, this is a feature that a lot of the user doesn't know about it. All you need to do is click the left mouse click and click the control on keyboard. And you can just move left or right without any troubles of the automatically help you change to the specific bar. And that's how you can move your samples without getting the troubles in LMMS. I found out there's a lot of the amazing producers such as AppTalenty or CalBeats. When they use the LMMS for the first time, they didn't know they can have the listen to the tracks they made before and record it. Hold on, what is it doing? Oh, I get it. So when you record inside a certain instrument, it doesn't play the other instruments. Well, that's annoying. And it's quite simple. It's just the right side of the recording buttons here. So you no need to be the horror pros and memorize the tracks that you made before and record it. Sometimes I really like to change the pitch of the whole track to see which keys are sounds much better. But it also changed the sound quality or the tempo of the samples and turns out become the chaos of the whole track. If you want to prevent this problem, all you need to do is go to your plugin, click the three dots at the right side of the plugin and disable the masterpiece. And like this, it will remain quality and also the tempo of your samples.
to be honest, I don't really pay a lot of attention to this feature is because I can't see its potential. But when I come out this video content and deep into the controller rack, it seems like I underestimated it. Because when you click inside of it, it's the LFO controller. With this controller, you no need to have the troubles on making the automation by yourself. You can just click the SPD button, right click, tempo sync, and find the LFO beat that you want to sing in your track. This feature is very useful when you are making the genres such as future bass or sometimes the LFO pan effect. Last one is the one that is really mind blowing me. I've been producing LMMS for so long and I never used this feature at all. And only realized it is the best and most convenient feature in LMMS, which is the card stacking and arpeggios. Well, I know what you want to tell me, but even if you use it, it doesn't sing at all. Do you still remember the controller rack feature that I shared just now? Which got the choices of which tempo or which time we want to sing? Well, it's at the time there. Just click the right click mouse, go to the tempo sync and this will solve your problem. When you got this feature, you don't have to worry about or putting the arpeggio notes one by one or make the stacking notes one by one too. This is convenient and make the workflow much better. I got this resource from Mako the producer and one LMMS. Shout out to these two producers who share this feature on YouTube. If you don't know them, please go and check out their channel. They also make a lot of the cool LMMS content on YouTube. If you like to use VST plugins or Zingnet SubFX in LMMS, you might have a trouble on pitch bending on your track. But do you know there's half the way to solve it? Let me show you. Go to the track, click the range two times, and you can change the range of your plugin. And after that, just put the range note to the automation track and you can make the pitch bend by using the automation track. This is the 7 features you might not know in LMMS. I hope you will find out this video is very useful for you and it is very useful for me as well because I realized I never used almost half of the features that I shared in today's video. I guess it's time to improve my workflow in LMMS and make it even better. If you are the LMMS user and got the features that I didn't mention, you can comment down below and let me know too. If you liked today's video, help me share and subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you got any question you would like to ask me, just comment down below and let me know. And I will see you in the next video.